Thanks for letting me change here, Shoshana. Mm-hmm. Do you know where Jess is, like when she's gonna be home? Probably not till late. She has a job now. I guess everyone has a job. O-M-F-ing-G. No. What are you watching? Baggage. Baggage? What's, what's baggage? It's like my favorite show on the Game Network. No, she didn't. Mario and I don't have cables, so I haven't seen this. No way. Shut up and get over here now. Okay, so there's three different contestants, and today they're girls. And this guy Danny is looking for love. And they each have three suitcases a little one, a medium one, and a big one. And they each have their secret baggage, and then they reveal it. And if it's super freaky, he eliminates one of them. Okay, like this one chick. Which one, the, the black one or the blonde one? Yeah, the black one. Her littlest baggage is that she spent $1,000 a month on her weave, which host Jerry Springer thinks is unbelievable. And then her medium baggage is that she plans her weddings after the first date. And then her biggest baggage is that she pokes holes in condoms. Wow. Uh-huh. It's like a really weird thing to do. I know. What would you put in yours? Well, I feel like my littlest bag. Okay, so like for me, I think my littlest baggage would probably be my IBS, and then my medium baggage would be that I truly don't love my grandmother. Like you don't love her at all? Mm-mm. Well, then what would your biggest baggage be? That I'm a virgin, obviously. Well, I mean, that doesn't count because soon you're going to have sex, and then you're going to forget that you ever didn't have sex. So then you're going to find somebody else to put in your baggage, so it doesn't count. I hope so. What would you put in yours? Um, my littlest baggage would be that I'm unfit for any and all paying jobs. My medium baggage would be that I bought four cupcakes earlier today and I ate one of them in your bathroom. And my biggest baggage would be that I have HPV and I found it out today. Oh my god. Do you have warts? I mean, I haven't like looked deep inside myself or anything, but I mean, I don't see any warts. Oh, it's like much less bad then. Jessa has HPV. She does? Mm-hmm. Like a couple of strains of it. She says that all adventurous women do. Do you know who gave it to you? Well, at first I thought it was the guy that I'm sleeping with, but then I found out he got tested, so now I think it's my boyfriend Elijah from my last two years of college. And who broke up with who? Well, I mean, he broke up with me because he needed space. But then he called me every day for six months just crying. You have to tell him. About my HPV? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's no symptoms for guys. And I just, I feel like it would, you know, open up some old wounds. I think he's still in love with me. Yeah, but that's like totally the responsible thing to do. I mean, like, sometimes you have to break a few eggs to do what's right. You know what I mean? Like, do you really want all of his future lovers to suffer from the same disease you have? No offense. Well, you said it's, you know, not a big deal. No, it's like totally not. It's just that like, in the STD world, I think it's like the courteous thing to do. What well, do I have to do it in person? I don't know, like, what are the other options? I'm just afraid that if I see him, that we're gonna end up having sex and it's just gonna be... But that's like totally okay because you both already have HPV. God, that's a really good point. You want, you want some cupcake? Yeah. No, small, smaller bites. Yeah. 